Hey everyone, we're back with Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Last time, we took on all 80 of the rare monsters to add them to the Beastnary. However, my Beastnary is not done. I still need to kill Yasume, and there's a couple of enemies I haven't killed. And at the same time, I'm gonna t um, I'm gonna get all the missed texts and magics that I've missed for the achievement. So, let's do that. So, back here in the Giza Plains in the dry, there's a magic I somehow missed. So, here in the Tome Hills, I'm going to use the on screen map just to get through this a bit faster. Uh, that guy. Let's kill these wolves. So, this chest right here in Tome Hills contains Blind. I can't believe I missed this, but uh, there you go. Uh, blind isn't useful to me, but um, I had to get it for the achievement. But I think I know why I missed it, because I normally um, been I zone here and kill this snake over and over and over again for snake skins. Speaking of, there's a snake skin. <laughs> uh, to make the Tornasol early. Um, well, get snake skins early. That's the earliest you can get snake skins. Okay, back in the Estesan, Sand, in the Sand Swept Naze, I can't believe I missed this one. But, uh, I guess I just didn't turn around when I exited this place for the first time. Because this is where we came out of, um... Uh, these wolves are gonna die, by the way. Uh, this is where we came out of in the main story. And here is a chest that contains... Poison. Can't believe I missed this one, but, uh, there you go. Right here on the map. Okay, back in the Bahim Passage. Right at the very start of the level. Can't believe they've done this. So, from the Teleport Crystal, go all the way back up to the top level. Uh, I can't... I don't remember um, the soonest you can get this magic. I think it's after the Dracula Laboratory, but I, don't quote me on that. Uh, this guy has something to sell. Uh, he has all of the same shit that he had um, when he first came here. But he also has this thing, Scourge. It's a very powerful magic. Inflicts sap to enemies that are not immune to it, of course. And it's the only way to get it. I think in the original PS2 version, there's you can get some decent stuff from this guy, but um, here you only just get um, the Scourge magic. Okay, back here in the Sand Sea, the Prime Tank Complex. This is uh, the, the place the horrible music, by the way. Uh, I missed a magic here, apparently. I can't believe how, because I was very thorough, I was trying to get, um, I was trying to get all the items possible, but down here, I must have not been that thorough enough. Kill these guys. And this chest right here on the map, in the prime tank complex, this one contains... Reflect. I was wondering where I was going to get that, and that's where you get it. Not useful to me in any way, because I got Reflect like a ah, reflect to go moats, but uh, there's where you get Reflect. Okay, conveniently, since I was in the Sand Sea, I can come here into the Zataran Caves and the Canopy of Clay. Uh, this one... I missed because I didn't even know there was an item in here, because it's the only treasure chest in this room. It does spawn 100% of the time, but um, I, ge I generally don't go that way, I just go straight to the hunt, because um, going this way leads to the hunt. Well, uh, the Belito hunt back in the day, but I've done that, but oh well. Anyway, here is our chest in the Canopy of Clay. This one contains Sight Unseeing. Uh, I don't use text, so I don't know how useful that is. 
And since I'm already here in the Tyrant Caves, let's, um... Let's take care of a monster that I haven't killed for a very good reason. Because this monster is the hardest monster in the entire... Uh, yeah, hardest normal monster in the entire game. Don't take this thing lightly. So... I need to get to it first. Let's go around here. Let's, uh, things want to die. Just give me that loot, I guess. Okay, in here. In this room. Do not go in this room unless you're truly prepared for it. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. And these guys can be level 99, by the way. Their, their level is in between, I think... Level in between level 58 or 9 to level 99 is random, so ho just hope to God when you're trying to fight them, you uh, you are tr they they're low, they're low level because if they're both level 90 plus, you're gonna die, and I mean that quite literally. Um, hmm. So, for that reason, I'm going to have my reverse decoy strats on, because these guys do not play. They can easily kill me. And also, they can just, if the RNG wants to, you can automatically die when they hit. They have a, like, it's a low percentage, but every time they hit you, it's a, um, like, 3 or 5% chance that you automatically die. They have that crushing fangs move that is a 5% chance of automatically dying as well. So that's awesome. Uh, I think Fran needs to be arised first. Self. Self. Um. Uh. You know what? I'll just do it in battle. Fuck it. Alright, let's just um, get reverse on. Because if they are level 99, I'm gonna need it. Alright, these dragons, level 80, there's two of them in this room. It's kind of like fighting two Yazamats, and I mean that quite literally. So, level 80 isn't too bad. And when you attack one, the other one's gonna come right after us as well. Look at that. He was all he was all the way over there, but as soon as you attack one, he will um, attack you straight away. And what level is the other one? 86. 80 and 86. Okay, so that's still pretty damn high, but I lucked out that I'm not fighting two level 99s, but it's pretty much close enough. And these guys counterattack. There's like crushing fangs. Okay, didn't get the other death. Because Ash is berserk, she's not concentrating on one and making this fight drag out. It's kind of annoying, so uh, I'm gonna take off the wine. And they they'll they'll just keep dispelling the the buffs anyway, so I'll just um There goes Penelo, cause she Oh no. I forgot that they do confusion shit. Now be a nice time to have free ribbons. So, I'd much rather be uh, mean to confusion than anything else. The rest of it I can just sort of uh, deal with. So, I need to. Ow! Fuck you! 
God damn it. Fucking confusion. Uh, and then I need to get that. S I need to put a serum on Ash because she needs to get that disease off. Fortunately, I only need to kill one of these to turn the beast dairy. What are you weak to, by the way? They're weak to ice. Okay. So, Fran, when you do get a moment, cast Blizzard. And hold on. Does. If I p equip the gun, do I have a ice one? I don't have ice, I have water. That's, uh, that's a shame. Will that do more damage, I wonder? Whoa, okay, using the gun is actually really, really good. Okay, let's use the gun, especially if it crits. Unfortunately, it's a bit slow. Ow. The guns uh, ignore defense, so they might be. It might be very useful. Curse! I fucking hate curse, man. Uh, you know what? I feel like the sword is actually doing more damage because it. The, uh, she's faster with it, so... It, it, it's hard to tell if um, using the Tornasol is better than using the Mifuna. There's that damn disease again. Things are getting a bit smoother now. No, nice four hit combo, baby. Ouch. There's a death hit again. Fuck. Oh, cool. So her remedy actually can cure um, disease. That's that's cool. So I can save myself an action. All right, enraged. This is where um, things are going to be even more dangerous because uh, he he will now hit like a truck and do a lot of combos. Because these guys hit for like between three and six k, I think. Especially when he's ready to die. There we go, we got one. Alright, so this fight has now become a little bit easier now. An Emperor Scale! Nice, that was a good drop. Um, unfortunately, I don't need that anymore, but these guys drop Emperor Scales. And if you're really lucky, not that I need another one, but they, these guys drop a cameo about 1% of the time. But that's the only other way of getting the cameo bell in. Woo! <laughs> sick, sick combo, baby. Wow. Um, Penelo is in almost out of magic points. So let me uh, siphon Ash's MP because she's not using that. Wow, you get him, girl. Yes, baby, yes, get his ass. Kick his asshole. Yeah, 
Yeah, he, he, he could do combos too. Alright, at Fran is uh, getting some hits in too. Nice. Oh, there goes that fucking death here again. Asshole. He's, uh, it's alright, he's almost dead now. Ouch. That's what you get for hitting me, bitch. Oh, you fuck. I, I literally just get two-shotted. <laughs> now die! No, not dead yet. Now die, you fuck. There you go. Alright, so that was the tough dragons here in the Tyrant Caves in the Valkama Fault. Uh, in this in this specific room, not um, the one highlighted above it, even though it's the exact same room. Alright. Um, nothing else to note here, I don't think. But um, those dragons are uh, not to play around. I had to uh, use my uh, Yazamat strats for that. I'm going to be using the exact same strats for Yazamat. I don't know how much exactly HP they have because uh, it's off the scales. I think it's like uh, a good million or so. Oh, Alright, back in the Harwish in the Rays of Ashen Light. I can't believe I haven't got this one, but I guess I had to use uh, these things to get up here. Where this wolf is, I think it is this chest that I'm looking at. If Scape can uh, stop being so laggy. Here we go, his stamp. This is a uh, this is a uh, technique. Again, I not I don't use techniques other than like steel, so um, I don't really know the use of it. But you know, that's game for the achievement. Alright, back in the Silica Woods, in the qu quiet and trance where the teleport crystal is. Uh, all you gotta do is go down here. And this is where our next tech is. This is Charm. Again, I don't use tech, so I don't use the I don't really use it, so but I still need it for the achievement. Okay, here in the Falls of Time. Um, after you've done the waterfall minigame thing, uh, puzzle I should say, not minigame, there's a chest right here. Spawns 100% of the time. This one is a 1,000 needles. Once again, there's a tech. Uh, I don't know exactly what it does. I think it just does 1,000 damage if it's, um, if it is, but... That is uh, completely irrelevant since I can do 27,000 points of damage with my arrow spell. Back in the Navity's Deadlands, once again, in the Lifeless Strand, there is a magic I missed here. Uh, this magic is actually. I actually didn't know where this one is. I had to look it up. Um, so there's like a little uh, secret uh, walkway. Uh, not here. These guys will die, of course. Over here? Um, I've got the map here. Hold on. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> that, that's, uh... You know, that's, um, that's cool. It's over here on the map. <laughs> right off the map. Uh, there's a little secret walkway to get this magic, Warp. Uh, I think Warp is actually a pretty good spell. It's, it's basically like teleports enemies out of the area, which is, and I think that's useful if you don't want to break your chain and stuff like that, but I don't use it. Okay, here in the Lushu Mines in Site 2, uh, this monster can also spawn in Site 3 and uh, this twin spam. But we're going to spawn him here in Site 2. Mainly because um, apparently when he does spawn, 
he has a he has a chance to spawn in vanish, which means he'll be invisible. So you'll have to bounce a spell to get him to actually get him. Like use reflect and bounce a spell off the reflect to hit him. But in sight two, he never apparently he never uh, does that. So to spawn this guy, we're literally just gonna sit here for seven whole minutes. There's a reason why I haven't fought this monster because I'm, I was never in this room for that long. You literally just gotta spend seven minutes in this room. Apparently, there is a faster way for him to spawn. Apparently, but we're just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait here for seven whole minutes until he spawns. And I did have another monster called uh, the Nightshade. Did I say? I think. The uh, basically, in the Pharaohs, I had a monster to teleport monster that just um, spawned randomly and I had no clue how. Uh, basically, he had the same requirements. I just I uh, I went to the toilet pretty much, and then I came back, and I started to um, I started to move and exit that room, and then he just randomly randomly spawned. So this guy has the exact same conditions, so we're just going to wait around. I'll edit this out. There we go, here's our boy, the Gazer. That seven minutes seemed like forever, but uh, he's finally arrived, and we get to kill him. I thought he was a- I thought this guy ha was a um, rare monster, the, the fact you have to wait here for seven whole minutes, but fortunately, he's not. Alright, we're back in the Giza Plains, the Rains, in Tome Hills. This took me like an hour to get out. It, there's a thunderstorm, right? So, in a thunderstorm, this elemental should spawn. That one right there. Uh, this is one of the elementals I haven't killed. There's uh, one more I haven't killed in the Primal Reef, but we're gonna go there next. So, I need to kill this thing. This thing's weak to ice, so this shouldn't take very long. Unfortunately, it's one of those monsters that you take recoil damage from. Oh, you fuck. Alright, Ash, you do your thing, girl. Let's be immune to ice. Uh, not ice, just magic. Just uh, kill him for me, baby. Fear. Die, you fuck. Alright, let's go face stone. A meteorite, okay. Alright, so now we're done in. We're now done in the Giza Plains. Look at that booty shake, man. There we go, we got a blizzard, thank god. Uh, I for some reason, my, my way of getting it doesn't seem to work for some reason. Normally, going from Mount Baramis straight to here, there's always a blizzard, but for some reason, it just stopped working, and so I legit had to um, zone from the Feyward. Now, is this him? Does he spawn right here? That's him. Alright, so this is our uh, last elemental I gotta kill. Uh, apparently he doesn't have a specific location. He he just spawns when there's a blizzard. Apparently. Apparently, uh, if I put on the thunder staff, or the cloud staff, this should uh, do even more damage. But of course he becomes immune, because he's a, he's a souped up elemental, so he wants to die. Now die! So 
So that's that. That's all the elementals I need to add to the beastinary. There's also one more enemy I gotta kill. Uh, in the spine of the ice worm. So I just need to figure out how I get there. So let's go this way. Turbo is a beautiful thing. It's so good. And I hate how the blizzard, blizzard just automatically ends if you go into the wrong screen. So that's another annoying thing about uh, that element, but I guess he just spawns where that Feywood is. So here in this room, there's a uh, spine of the ice worm. There's some enemies I didn't kill. Is it these guys? Yeah, these guys right here. These guys weren't here before because I had the Feral Retriever hunt active. So I guess uh, the Feral Retriever just uh, replaced these guys. So now I've added that to the Beast Nary. Uh I guess two of them spawn here. Um, for, the achieve for the achievement, you only have to kill one of each enemy. You just have to kill an enemy once and be in your uh, beastinary forever. And that, that, do I have one more monster to kill or is that all of them? Yeah, that's all the monsters except Yazamet. So I am now done with uh, the beastinary pretty much. Next video we're going to do Yazamet. But I still need to get two more abilities. So let's go do that. Okay, we're back in the Pharaohs in this dumb puzzle. Um, so I need to do this correctly. So we need to activate this sigil first. And that will lead us to floor 81. And then on this floor... I probably should have done this earlier, but, um, oh, a mallet, okay. Uh, that's the dragon. Kill all these bombs. Because we want to go over here and activate this green sigil. Because if I remember correctly, this is where we got flare. But in this room, we're now in like this, uh, in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. Um, so, this, this, this can't be it. It is! How, how did I miss that? How the fuck did I miss that? There's our door. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't turn around and... That's so dumb. <laughs> I can't believe I activated the green thing and I didn't turn around to see that chest. That's 100% chest, by the way. Uh, I'm kicking myself so hard right now. How did I not get that? Alright, last tech. Here in the Abyssal. We need to go to the north, so if I just go this way. Let's ignore all the enemies. Uh, there's actually an item I want to pick up in here as well, but it's, only, it's a 10% chest, so it probably hasn't spawned. But we're going to try and get it. Just die. And it'll be in this very corner, but it's not. So it hasn't spawned, so I'll just uh, I'll just keep zoning. I'll just ignore the loot, I don't need to pick up loot. Anyway, let's uh, move on to my tech. Unfortunately, this tech is also a 10% chance, and I'm probably going to run into the rare monster, because it's in the exact, room, exact same room where we took down the rare monster. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not going the right way. Fuck. Oh my god, I'm so confused. I'm so confused! 
Uh, Ash, please. Alright, where the fuck am I? Oh, I was getting the right one. Fuck. Anyway, let's hope it spawns. The chest would be right in the middle of the room, but of course it hasn't, so I gotta keep zoning until I get it. There we go, that didn't take too long. Here's our 10% chest that contains our last item, uh, last tech. Wither! Jack of all trades achievement. All right, so that's pretty much all I want to do this video, but I might as well try and get that other 10% chest in this room while I'm down here, because I am conveniently here. Hopefully it will just spawn this time. Uh, Wither is a very, very, very useful move. Um, we're probably going to use it on Yazamat because otherwise Yazamat is going to tear our asshole very, very wide. Um, basically Wither... Is the damn chest has to spawn. Basically Wither is a very useful ability. And so is Expose, and we're probably going to be using them in the next uh, boss battle. Because Expose lowers um, monsters' uh, physical defense, and Wither with, um, weakens the monster's attack. So you can make a monster attack, uh, monster's attack points go to like, uh, like under a thousand. Damn it, the chest still isn't here. Hey, It's finally spawned! This took me a good, uh... 10, 20 minutes. But here we go! A third ribbon of the game. Free one in the main game. Of course, there's trial mode. But we'll deal with trial mode in not the next episode because we got Yazamat to kill. And Yazamat should be our last monster to kill in the beast area. Uh, these guys are gonna die. You guys been already added, dude. You know what? Fuck this. Bye, bitches. Man, loot, loot, loot types are super long in the barriers, aren't they? Okay, so... We've done what we need to do. We've killed all the enemies that I needed for the Beast Nary, except the Yazamet. We... Obtained all the techs and magics. So... If we look at our Beast Nary now... This is what it looks like. If you've, uh, killed everything. Um, there are monsters that come under the same name, so, and it says I need a certain amount, but for the achievement, all you gotta do is add them to the beastinary. Like this, for example. I've only killed one of these. But you don't, you only need to kill one. You don't need to kill two. Um, basically, by killing another one, it just adds an extra page to the beast scenario. You don't actually need to do that for the achievement. So, thankfully, all you gotta do is kill one. Uh, so, all that's missing is Yazamet, I believe. And there's an achievement for killing Yazamet as well. So, yeah. We're almost done. I thought I'd just show you what this uh, beast scenario should look like, because this is what it should look like. It, it kind of looks like I'm missing an enemy, but it like there's a blank spot, but that's just how it's supposed to look apparently.
Except this one. This missing spot is Yazamet and the Elite Marks. All the Espers. We done all the bosses. All the rare monsters. Humanoids and Imperial. Next time, we're gonna defeat our last enemy and the last hunt in the game.